Hello, my name is Colin Ovington. I'm the Chief Nurse here at Sandwell and West Birmingham Hospitals. Welcome to the Trust and welcome to your new job. We're pleased you've come to join the team here at the Trust because actually we've got a lot to offer you um, for your career. Remember that our Trust isn't just about the hospitals that we operate, which are the very obvious bit that people see, but we also work across the community. So we have lots of nurses working in a wide range of very diverse settings, including as district nurses and in community hospitals and intermediate care. So nurses are on all sorts of fields right across the health spectrum. So I'm telling you all of that because that means when you come to join the Trust um, as a new recruit, you can begin to think about where your career might want to go to. You can think about, you know, do I want to specialise in one of the medical or surgical specialties? Do I want to work in the community as a district nurse? Do I eventually want to go on and do some further training as a health visitor or midwife? There's a whole range of opportunities there for you. We can help you navigate your way through some of the bureaucracy that sits behind some of that sometimes. The corporate nursing team at the Trust here, along with the training and development department, will help you think about um, the immediate developments that you need to help you settle into the Trust. We'll give you um, some time to settle in an induction period, a period of preceptorship where you're supported to take on the roles that you've been training to do for the last three years, and some time to consolidate the learning that you've undertaken in that period. So that's a real you know, opportunity that I want you to make the absolute most of. You, you, you don't get second chances for some of these sorts of things, and this will be your first new job as a staff nurse, and I want you to really enjoy settling into that new role. Um, because I know, having been there maybe a few years ago, you can probably tell, but you can see that actually you can have some really successful careers when you look around the people you'll be working with. So what brought me into nursing was about um, my, my personal value, if you like. I've told everyone, and I still tell everybody, and I'm telling you now, that my job is to make sure that patients are safe and well cared for. I'd love it if that was, what, was your aspiration, that you came to work every day to think that's what you're going to try and do for every patient that you look after. And a way of thinking about it is to, to consider if the patient was one of your relatives, how would you want to see them looked after? What would you do to go that extra mile for them? How would you promise to listen to what they've got their concerns are? And how would you promise to make sure that their care was well delivered? Those are the sorts of things we expect of our staff. I don't think that's a complicated and hard thing. Sometimes we make it complicated and hard um, by some of the, the, the bureaucracy and the paperwork that we create. And we're doing a lot to try and iron some of that out. And we've got a new electronic patient information system uh, which we'll be implementing in the next year and, a, year and a half. And you'll be part of that really exciting time when we try to get rid of paper from our system and do everything electronically. So that's going to be an exciting development. The other exciting development that we, we consider is, of course, we're going to have a brand new hospital, Midland Metropolitan Hospital, which opens on the 18th of October 2018. And we'd love that you would to stop with us, develop your career leading up to that new hospital and take your uh, new career into that new building and help us settle the new building into place for the local community. It's going to be a really exciting time. But remember, on every single day you come to work, the reason you come to work is to make sure that patients are safe and well cared for. And if we all did that, um, we'd get more things right than ever the NHS, is, which is often criticised for getting things wrong. I'm asking you to join us um, in that journey to make sure that we get things right. We've launched a safety plan. There are 10 standards within the safety plan and it starts with 10 out of 10. You'll see 10 out of 10 advertised on all of the wards and departments. And the first 10 things in there are the very basic things that we should get right for every patient. Starting with knowing who they are, knowing that you're treating the right patient, talking to the right patient about their care, talking to them about the treatments that they're on and the drugs that they may have to take. Knowing that you've got the right patient in the first instance is the beginning of the whole patient journey on safety. So that's a crucial one for you to, to, to get right every time. And that might be about stating the very obvious, but it is something that does go wrong from time to time. When we listen to patients, they tell us occasionally how well the staff are doing 
and they often describe the nursing staff as the angels that look after them. But occasionally, they also tell us about when things go wrong. And often when things go wrong, it's because we haven't listened properly um, or we haven't uh, given them the right attitude back. That sometimes can be something that they worry about. Um, but being patient with, with our patients, listening to their story, listening to their, their fears and their worries and what their symptoms are, will help us do them a much better job. Today in the NHS, of course, we see a lot more patients who are el more elderly um, than they were many years ago. They're suffering with uh, various forms of memory loss or even with a diagnosis of dementia or Alzheimer's disease. And these can be very challenging patients to look after. Um, I know I started my career working on a psychogeriatric ward with 30 patients who were all um, suffering from dementia. And it also begins to feel a little bit like that today um, with you know, more than one or two patients sometimes suffering with that disease process. So I do ask you to be very patient with these patients in our system. Talk to their families, listen to what they've got to tell you about their, their, their loved one. They will tell you the sorts of things that will keep them calm, the sorts of things that are routine in their day, and that will help you look after your patients in a much more efficient sort of way. Those are just a few of the sorts of things I'd love to see you doing here at the Trust. Of course, there's many, many more than I could put on a, on a short video to welcome you here. But rest assured that I will be watching for you in my, in my team. I, look, I like to meet new people. I love people, new, new people to talk to me about what's going on in their career. Tell me about how you're settling in. Tell me about your own worries about settling in as a new nurse. And then we can work on seeing if we can develop something that will support you better and develop your career for the long term here at Sandwell and West Birmingham. So you are very welcome.